Now let's look at an example in which we apply a partial integration technique. So here is a function x and sine of x, and um, we're going to get rid of the x by differentiation. So we take as a function fx equals x, then we know the derivative of this function, and also if we take g prime of x equals the sine of x, then we are able to find a primitive, right? So the f prime of x equals 1, and the primitive of g prime equals the minus the cosine of x. Yeah, so the arrow down will be used to indicate that we differentiate uh, uh, one of the terms and the arrow up is integration. So we now use partial integration so we get f times g equals x times minus the cosine of x minus the remainder, the, the remaining integral where we differentiate f and take a primitive of g prime. So this is 1 times minus cosine x dx. So now we see that we have a known part, which is x times minus cosine of x, or minus x cosine of x, and an integral of an easy function, which is minus the cosine of x. So this has this primitive minus sine of x, plus a constant, right? So here we are again aware of the fact that we are looking at indefinite integrals, so we need to plug in at some moment our integration constant c. So here we arrive at a primitive of the function minus x cosine is x plus sine is x plus c. So let's check whether this is correct. You can always, if you have a, if you have a candidate primitive, you can always take a derivative to see whether you end up with the original function you started off with. So we take a Derivative of minus x cosine x plus sine of, of x plus c. Well, the c has derivative zero, of course. We use the product rule and to find uh, minus cosine of x minus x times minus sine of x as a derivative of minus x times cosine of x. And uh, the Additional term sine of x has derivative cosine of x. Okay, now two elements here have different signs. They add up to zero, so we are left with minus x times minus sine of x, which equals x times the sine of x. So this is fully sound. So the, the technique of partial in integration here was especially effective since we got rid of the extra term x and uh, the remainder was a trigonometric function which we could easily uh, integrate. So this is basically how it works. You have to look a little bit uh, in the future so that you are actually able to solve the remainder integral or that you at least simplify the remainder integral.